All right, so today 87 degrees, clouds, sun and haze, uh, winds south 5 to 15, pulling some of that smoke out of California and Oregon, also into western Washington. Uh, tonight, still the haze continues, 59 degrees. We still keep the south winds. That still keeps that smoke in our area. Satellite and radar, we did have some early morning showers south of us and also into the northern Cascades. We're going to see more of that uh, today. We're going to have the potential, again, with a red flag warning from areas just uh, east of Colville through Republic Omac and Winthrop. That's till 11 o'clock tonight. And then we see a chance of showers coming in for Tuesday south of us into Idaho. The fear is some of that isolated dry uh, lightning. The elevated smoke continues to be in our area, and we're going to see that. So that's those hazy conditions we talk about. And it's going to be fairly prevalent, and that's going to continue to spin for us. And then we see things change a little bit into Wednesday, which should clean us out a little bit. But we're looking to be in moderate air quality all the way through um, Tuesday, and then we'll, we should see better air quality by Wednesday if the winds cooperate. Let's put it that way. Um, 87 degrees uh, for us today, 85 into Pullman, 87 into Colville, and then mid-90s for Lewiston, 92 into the Tri-Cities. Not looking too bad. So we look at our planning forecast, and, and again, hazy conditions today, tomorrow, better for Wednesday, Thursday. And then we have showers coming in for Friday and Saturday at about a 40% chance with isolated thunderstorm activity. The issue is, could there be lightning starts? And that's the issue that we're going to be looking at as we get closer to that. Over the weekend, highs are going to be in the low 80s and overnight lows into the 50s all week long. That's going to be a good time to get everything cooled off. All right, I'm Mark Peterson. Thank you so much for uh, watching this. We'll continue to keep that weather conversation for you. You can have it in the palm of your hand. It's called the First Alert Weather App. It's free and available in the App Store.